David called me to do this role, and uh, he didn't really tell me much about it, and, and there, there was no script to read. It was sort of top secret. Um, and so I sort of took it, I had to say yes on sort of a leap of faith. This is a world that doesn't exist, so it's from his mind, it's an, imagine, it's an imagination. So, you know, characters, villains, um, you know, just what the sets would look like. He's created a lot of it, a lot of the artwork that's even on our patches or, you know, in the cities is, is from his mind. He sits there and draws the stuff. So it's, it's pretty fascinating for him to, to do that. And then I think, um, secondly, is he, he flips the stereotypes of, um, of superheroes. So what this film does so brilliantly is it, it immediately flips it on its head and you go, now you're in a moral dilemma. You go, well, who is the bad guy and who, who is the good guy, you know? Are, are, are these villains? The good guy or the bad guy, you know. I mean, it's it, it, it makes you it makes you you think a little more. It's smart.